pretty astonishing show of force from social media in the immigration debate in what's being called a political thunderclap a flood of tweets and facebook posts reached more than 45 million people in an instant last week that's according to the bipartisan group march for innovation they launched what they say was the largest ever virtual march for immigration reform even senator chuck schumer got in on the act putting out a seven second clip his first ever vine video Seize the moment. Pass our immigration bill. Great for tech, great for America. I'm joined now by social media expert and of 11media.com co-founder Eric Averbaum. It's always good to have you here, Eric. Good uh, morning. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. 48-hour event. They're all over uh, Twitter, Facebook posts, um, a Twitter town hall that was led by Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Twitter chats, Google Hangouts, live streams. It's so interesting that it's immigration. Why this, do you think, for this huge push? Well, it, it, by the way, it's more you know data points that show you how impactful social media can be. I mean, we've talked about it a lot. The Latino community, that used to be, I mean, if you were on the ground in the United States and you walked around, people would describe the problem as illegal Mexicans, which is nothing, what it, we're talking 52 million in a population, 11 million undocumented, the Latino youth were the first early adopters of the smartphone. They used it first. So because there's so many of them and many couldn't afford computers. That's exactly so right. They, they get smartphones. That's right. They, they didn't have a computer at home, so they got a smartphone. Yeah. Uh, being that powerful with technology and that number of people who feel so passionate about an issue. I mean, you know, there's a group called the Dreamers. Uh, uh, there's even a documentary now out about it. This is going to be that a, you watch online. That's right. That you watch online. Um, done by Dave. Is Guggenheim, a, a, a very famous person, you know, with incredible passion and emotion. If you watch that, you might feel real different just from watching that one documentary. You know, uh, on one hand, you have them trying to activate that entire community, particularly the young community, obviously, because it is social media. On the other hand, they're also letting people know that they're a force who oppose what they want to well, do. Ted Cruz, the Republican senator, got bombarded with 300 tweets from pro-reform. Yeah, I'm not, you know, some of the words that get thrown around, I saw the, you know, bombarded by 300. I don't, I don't, I don't really consider That's not 300 that bombarded. Okay. That said, some of the numbers are very, very significant. People are talking about it. We're bringing a face to the immigration issue now which will make all the difference, I believe. But we mentioned Senator Chuck Schumer recording this Vine video, and um, I am going to say I was one of the people. I'm going to fess up. I did not know what that was. So explain, but more importantly, how something like this can be used and how it can be effective. Well, you know, it's, I mean, you, you look at it. A anybody can do that. He's just doing it in his office by himself. It's, you know, it's just pointing your webcam, at, you know, at yourself. And he's somebody Seven about seconds. It. Seven seconds. Has a very, you know, large following. Somebody who's very influential. I mean, all he did is say three sentences and everybody's talking about it. Yeah, and you can walk down the street and you can watch it and, and hopefully not run into anything in that second. Well, Seven right. seconds, yeah, yeah. right? Be, be careful what you're doing while you're walking down the street. You know, obviously, social media has allowed all of us to connect in ways we never thought possible. Where is it headed, and where do you think uh, the significant things to watch are when it comes to things like public policy? Uh, well, I think where it's heading is it's going to be a combination because nothing will replace the you know old-fashioned, real people marching in Washington, D.C. Right. That still is going to need to exist. But uh, w w what this is able to do with social media, because you don't have to get a plane ticket, you don't have to go anywhere, you can do this from your own home, um, and, and you can do things like make videos from your own home. I, I, th I think that you'll see the two complementing each other, and I think that you'll find that Washington, D.C. is going to have to pay more attention because they're gonna get, they are going to get bombarded by emails and, tw and, and things on Twitter. And that is one place where the job growth is because a lot of those folks need to hire someone to do all of this social media stuff for them because it has become so important. Yeah, well, everybody's looking for social media experts now. <laughs> and Eric Averbaum was an early one, and we'd always love having you on the program. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Today's Tweet of the Day comes from MSNBC's Ari Melberg, co-host of The Cycle, who wrote, study the presence of immigrants in New York is linked to decreased crime rates. He included a link to his segment on the issue.